Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Crystal Heart. My name is Crystal and today we have a So Sampler unboxing. All right, you guys, you know the deal. Like the video, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Always, As always, after you see the unboxing, leave me a comment in the comment section to let me know how you feel about the box because I'm gonna definitely tell you exactly how I feel about the box and the items in the box. So it is the So Sampler November 2022 box. I cut the tape, but I have not opened it. Okay, when you open it, there's something extra in here. Okay, hold on. It says, happiness blooms within November 2022, and there's something flapping from the inside, so I'm going to have to check that out. But this is cute, so we'll see if it matches what's in the box all right and the coupon for today is um 25 off of fat eight bundles all righty we have our little booklet that we'll always go through at the end and okay what was poking out so this is what was poking out triangles on a roll color-coded washi tape Easily identify your triangles on a roll paper and keep it from unrolling. Okay. So it's little circle tapes that you just put on your your um, triangles on a roll. If y'all don't know what that is, I'm seeing they have that in here. This is triangles on a roll. And it's basically uh, like paper piecing to do half square triangles. So usually, I, I've never used this. I had the flying geese paper on a roll, but I, I didn't use it. I ended up selling that box that it came in. So I will try this because I hate doing half square triangles. I'm not the best at them. I don't want to say I hate them. I'm just not the best at them. But these little sticky tabs to hold the paper down. Okay. And this is... Does it say what size? Does it matter? For two inch finish half square triangles. Okay. So that's what that is. Um, the next notion is cinnamon and cream fig tree and co one inch ribbon. So a yard and a half of this ribbon is really cute. I don't know if uh, each box has a different color, but I got green. All right, the next thing is the dog ear clipper tool. Okay, so I've seen this before. And it's this little acrylic uh, template to cut off the little extra pieces that hang off of your half square triangles, which they call that dog ears. So let me take it out so you can see exactly what it looks like. So it looks like this. And... They have instructions on how to use it. And that's it for notions, y'all. All right, so going into what we have next, we have the pattern, which is petals, a table runner pattern, and it looks like um, pinwheels. And so to do this pattern, you'll need the fabric that's included. You'll need... So you need one fat eight bundle, which is included, a half yard of outer border, which is the blue part, and one and one eighths yards of background and inner border. So that's all the white part. And then a half yard for binding. And then there's also an option to make the crib quilt. And if you do that, you'll need one and one eight yards of background and inner border. So that's the white. And you'll need a half a yard of outer borders, which is the blue, and a half yard for binding. So same thing. So you could either do it as a table runner or a crib quilt. If I would do this, I would definitely do crib size because I don't need table runner. All right. So this is the fabric, and it's Forget Me Not by Allison Harris. And I'm looking like I'm going to love this fabric. Let's see. Let's open it up. All right, got the plastic off. So this is it. It's a fat eight bundle. 
I would like to be able to put the paper back on, but that might not be an option. All right, so the first one are these look like mason jars with flowers in them. I love mason jars, like love mason jars. Here is this pink flower pattern. This pink, more of a modern type flower pattern. We have the mason jar flower vases in red. We have this yellow, like floral polka dot type situation. We have the green floral, the green modern looking floral, the blue, this is a different floral. We have the blue in the polka dot looking floral, a blue plaid, which is weird in this bundle, but okay. And then this one has some text on it. It says, forget me not, live life in bloom. Tend to a flower, watch and bloom. And then we have this navy blue floral. I love this fabric. The only one that I'm like, yeah, about is the, is the um, plaid because I'm just not a huge plaid person. Or it has to be a certain kind of plaid, but not this one. And I'm not huge on text on fabric either. So these two are not my fave, but the rest I love. I love the whole bundle. So um, definitely going to use that. Maybe not in this pattern, but maybe in this pattern. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. And the last thing in here is the Bliss Quilt Along, which I cannot show you because it is the pattern. And then let's look at our little this to see um our booklet to see what's what with everything there you go so the two inch half square triangle paper by is so emma which is back quarter shop uh valued at twelve dollars and forty eight cents for me i don't two inch is very specific if it's needed in this quilt which i'm sure it is I mean, you would really, I guess, have to be doing this quilt to use the paper. But for me, two inches, very specific. I don't even recall any pattern where I'm making a whole lot of two inch half square triangles. So I guess it's specific to this pattern. And this pattern is a fat quarter shop pattern. So um, what else? What else? What else? Triangles on a roll, color coded washi tape. So the washi tape, this, and it's color coded. So it says on here, one inch finish, one fourth inch finish. This to me, sorry, but it's kind of dumb. Like I can just use tape. That's not something that I want in here. And I don't have all the different size triangles on the roll. This is the only one that I have. So I don't need all these color coded ones for different sizes because I don't I don't own those sizes. So for me, this is a bus. Like, I'm not going to use that. Or I'll use it for something else. Who knows? Um, Dog ear clippers. Oh, the triangles on a roll. Uh, washi tape. Color-coded situation was valued at $8.48. The dog ear clipper tool is valued at $8.98. Um... Mm. And the pattern is always valued at $9.98. Well, usually. Uh, I don't see anything. Oh, this. No, I don't see anything on this. Where is this? I don't see anything on the ribbon. Oh, it's a bonus item. The ribbon is a bonus item. So they're not counting any. It's valued at $4.48, but it's a bonus and the forget me not fat eighth bundle by allison harris for wyndham fabrics is valued at 19 dollars 98 love this fabric love it love it love it and this is what the block looks like for the bliss quilts along and they're on block number eight valued at four dollars and 98 cents and that's what the block it's a cute block so that's it y'all for november 2022 what do i feel about the box the fabric, I'm all for that fabric. They could have gave me more fabric and less of everything else because this is a bust for me. Like, 
it will not get used. This, if I do the pattern, I may try this, but other than that, I have no reason to need two inch uh, half square triangles. The dog ear tool, I don't really understand why we need to do this, but um, some people do clip their triangles before they sew them together. I don't understand the purpose, but if it's your thing, then you have a tool for it. I probably will not reach for that tool. This is really cute as a bonus item. I love it. I like it. It's cute. The pattern is a cute pattern. I may or may not do it. I don't know. It To me, it's like one of those basic patterns. If you just need to make a quilt for somebody as a gift, um, maybe that would be something that you can reach for. It's nothing like too, too special about it. I mean, it's a nice pattern. But so for me, this box wasn't mm, meh, but the fabric was good. So I'm happy with the fabric. Everything else was meh. But um, as usual, y'all leave me your comments below. Let me know because y'all are so opinionated and I love it. And I want to know what y'all think about this box. Um, and that's it, y'all. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.